Europe political division and location. Ah, oh, Europe is a land of many cultures and countless decades of rich history and heritage. A place where the entire Western civilization came into existence. A continent that still mystifies and fascinates travelers and researchers all around the world. Let's have a sneak peek into the magical next door neighbor of Asia, Europe. The continent of Europe is only three times the size of India and is smaller than every other continent except Australia. But it has the second largest population amongst all the continents after Asia and holds the pinnacle of the Western world. Thus, it aptly derived its name from Europa, the daughter of Phoenix in Greek mythology, and from Arab, the Phoenician word for sunset. Although referred to as a continent, Europe can be considered a peninsula of the landmass of Eurasia. However, the population of Europe is about the same as that of North America and South America combined. Interestingly, the civilizations of North and South America, Australia and New Zealand have all developed largely from European civilization. Thus, Europe has largely been a center of great cultural and economic achievement since the beginning on account of the ancient Greek and Roman civilizations which made lasting contributions to philosophy, literature, science, fine art and government to the Renaissance, which was a period of great achievement for artists and architects. From the age of exploration, leading to discovery of new lands and voyages to distant places of the earth, to the industrial revolution that led to the development of modern industry. In fact, such is its versatility that today, European countries range in size from Russia, the largest country in the world, to Vatican City, the smallest country. Moscow is the largest city in Europe, followed by London and Berlin that also bask in its glory. International finance centers like London and a fashion capital like Paris are an integral part of the European culture. Europe is made up of many different nations. Scandinavia is the name applied to Norway, Sweden and Denmark combined due to their historical, cultural and linguistical similarity. Sometimes the term Scandinavia is also used to include Iceland which is linguistically related to others. Lapland is a region north of the Arctic Circle, extending across the northern parts of Norway, Sweden, Finland and the Kola Peninsula of Russia. The British Isles is made up of 5,000 islands, the biggest of them being the islands of Great Britain and Ireland. It is made up of two independent countries of United Kingdom and the Republic of Ireland. The country of United Kingdom is made up of the main island called Great Britain and the Northern Ireland, whereas in the southern part of this division is the country called the Republic of Ireland. The countries of Belgium, Netherlands and Luxembourg are known as the Low Countries since they are made up of lowlands and a large part of them lies below sea level. These three countries are also known as Benelux countries due to the first two letters of their names. Similarly, the Iberian Peninsula is made up of the countries of Spain and Portugal, whereas the countries of Hungary, Romania, Bulgaria and Greece together make the Balkan states since they lie in the Balkan mountains. On the other hand, West Germany and East Germany, unified 
make the country of Germany. Yugoslavia broke up in 1991 into Slovenia, Croatia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia and the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. Whereas USSR collapsed and broke into 15 independent republics, namely Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Belarus, Ukraine, Moldova and Russia. Simultaneously, Czechoslovakia ceased to exist and two independent countries of the Czech Republic and Slovakia came into existence. Europe lies entirely in the Northern Hemisphere between latitudes 35 degrees north and 73 degrees north and longitudes 25 degrees west and 65 degrees east. Most of the continent lies in the North Temperate Zone and only a small area extends beyond the Arctic Circle into the cold frigid zone. The prime meridian passes through Greenwich near London in the western part of Europe. Europe being a peninsula of the large landmass of Eurasia is surrounded by seas on its three sides except the eastern. It is bordered by the Arctic Ocean in the north, the Atlantic Ocean in the west and the Mediterranean Sea in the south. In the east the low Ural Mountains and Ural River separate the continent of Europe from Asia while it is separated from Africa by the Strait of Gibraltar in the west. The coastline of Europe is highly indented or broken which provides excellent locations for harbors as the sea extends deep into the continent with the exception of only Russia which is very far from the sea. Some of the crucial seas and gulfs are the White Sea, the Gulf of Bothnia, the Gulf of Finland, the Baltic Sea and the North Sea. The Bay of Biscay lies in the west. The Adriatic Sea and the Aegean Sea are in the south, while the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea are the two large saltwater lakes on the east side of Europe. Europe includes a large number of islands. The most important ones are British Isles, Iceland, Sardinia, Sicily and Crete. The English Channel separates the British Isles from the mainland.